What's up, guys? My name is Anthony, and if you're a cryptocurrency investor looking to stay informed about the link price action as 2020 unfolds, you've come to the right place. Chainlink's one of our favorite projects, and I'm committed to bringing regular technical analysis updates whenever there's major action on the charts. Today, we'll discuss what comes next for Link after the impressive price rally we witnessed last week. Before we get started, I want to thank all our new and returning subscribers for supporting the channel and explain what we do here. CryptoRide helps you safely navigate the ups and downs of the cryptocurrency markets through news stories, technical analysis videos like this one, and project reviews. So if you're passionate about Chainlink, crypto investing in general, or just committed to building wealth over time, make sure to subscribe to our channel in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Okay, let's get into it. At the time of this recording, the Chainlink price is $2.70. What I'd like to do is start off on the daily chart. So every candle is a one day time frame, And I just want to talk about what's happened since last video. Now, the last video we put out was on January 13th, which was exactly a week ago. And we were talking about a potential double bottom that looked like it was trying to break out, but couldn't. So you can see we were falling here and we weren't exactly sure what was happened. Since then, we saw a massive engulfing candle break out to the upside, and I would not hesitate to call this parabolic movement upwards as we saw one, two, three, four, five green candles before having a pullback uh, on the 19th. And the size of this move, just for the record, I'm measuring it right now for the first time, from the breakout to the top was a 30% gain in one week. And of course, that's... Not something that happens all the time. And congratulations to everybody holding Link. Um, it was amazing. So, like I said, the question remains, what is going on right now? As you can see, these candles are just getting volatile. Look how uh, wide this is. That's a 12% difference um, just on one day alone. And today, you can see we are already experiencing over 7 almost 8% volatility. So, the asset is extremely volatile right now and we have to figure out where this thing is going next you can see volume spiked big time as i was hoping it would and mentioned in my last video and now it's kind of come down another thing i want to point out for you is the rsi now on the daily time frame the relative strength index is currently at 70 percent which is in the overbought region remember anything over 70 as you can see as this purple ends anything over 70 is considered overbought under 30 is considered oversold so what's that mean if you don't know basically it means that the market is overextended and the probabilities would say on a daily time frame that the price of this wants to come down but the news isn't all bad because as we switch to the weekly time frame, you can see that the RSI is only at 60. So there could be room to go to the upside. The other thing we talked about last week is the measured move upwards, which is from the peak to the valley of the double bottom, which represents this candle I am moving around right now in front of you. And if we put that here to the breakout price, I just want to show you that this came out almost to a T where we said it was supposed to, which was right around that $3 price point. It looks like we hit roughly $2.84. I'm telling you this because basically that means that this upside breakout and the measured move is done. So the double bottom pattern we were watching did confirm, but now that's over and we're going to be looking to form a new pattern. And so here's the image you saw in the thumbnail for this video. And this purple line that I drew, if you want to call it a purple, represents our new uptrend. So I'm going to take that starting back for my purposes on January 5th. And what we're looking for when we establish an uptrend is three points of contact. You could do it with two. I find them to be more reliable with three. That's just my personal style. But then you can see we are moving upwards. Price went parabolic, like I said, and now it's pulled back a bit. This is a healthy move. It does not mean that the price is about to crash. Although, as I mentioned in my last video, when I talked about the oil coins pumping, the Chainlink futures has just been added to Binance with 75 times leverage. So check out that video. I'll put the link in the top corner up here if you're interested to read more about that. I'm not getting into it now, but I did a deep dive in that video I just put out two days ago. 
But I want to talk to you also about this channel that I've drawn. And also, I should mention that we are currently looking at the four-hour price charts. Now, I don't always drill down this close because I like to talk to you guys about more macro moves. But in this case, the price has been extremely volatile. And I, found, I felt like it would be relevant to look at this. Going back to January 16th, we pretty much established, with a few exceptions here, but again, we got rejected hard the first time. We went up to $2.86, actually. It wasn't 84 right? And then again, we got rejected out of that. So what's happened more times, one, two, three, four times, we've tried to come out at this $2.75 mark. So what I'm doing is I'm calling that the temporary top of the channel that we have established, and this blue line is that, and the bottom, we are looking at $2.55, which also happens to be right around where this uptrend is established. So that to me makes a lot of sense as a point we really need to be watching. So for you guys who don't know technical analysis and you just want to set some alerts on your phone, set an alert at $2.55, set another one at $2.75, all right? If it breaks $2.75, we've broke out upwards. If it breaks $2.55, we've broke to the downside. And if we break out downwards, I've just basically looking at the four-hour chart, I've discovered two levels of possible support. One of them I have marked at $2.49. I tweeted about this last week. That's a level I'm looking to buy. And that's not to say I don't think the price could go way higher in the future because I'm hoping three to five years from now, all of these prices will be amazing to buy at. But for me, of course, I'm trying to always maximize my gains. And I've been accumulating link for about six months. So I'm already happy with my position. All right, none of this is financial advice. I'm not making recommendations on when you should buy or shouldn't buy. But let me know in the comments section, what prices are you targeting just for the record? If 250 breaks, we could fall all the way down to $2.31. You've got some resistance here, resistance here, uh, support here. And as you know, or if you don't know, previous resistance tends to become support. And this was all in the very recent past. This was just January, January, right? It was all this month. So these could definitely come back to play if we break to the downside. Now, if we break out to the upside, we'll likely see resistance right here at the same spot we saw it very recently at $2.83. And I can't stress it enough. $2.83 will be a critical level. If we can break out past that, there's not too much resistance. If I scroll out a little bit, you'll see um, there's really not that much happening in there to get to that $3 price point. Again, we, we hit that back in November. So really, it's all about $2.85. If we break that, then we should be able to move forward pretty easily and hit that $3 price point. I really want to see that $3 price point, obviously, as I'm sure you probably do too. I found an article I want to share with you. Now, this one relates to Bitcoin. So why am I showing you a Bitcoin article because history has shown us that Bitcoin tends to lead these markets. So whenever I'm thinking about Chainlink, I also have to consider or you also have to consider Bitcoin. So now it says Bitcoin finally corrects. Is the surge over? And, you know, I think that's the question on everyone's mind. Check this out. Bitcoin's correction has finally come. After more than two weeks of exceptional gains, the medium time frame uptrend has traversed the entirety of the longer term structure. I'm going to show you what that means in a minute, which is a downtrending channel in place since July. Now at the top of this channel, Bitcoin is at what may prove to be the most important decision point of its entire 2020 career. And that's why our thumbnail read huge week coming. It's not huge in a sense where I think we're going to see a major breakout. It's huge because I think it will be an indicator as to where the price of Bitcoin and the cryptocurrency markets as a whole could head next. So he shows here the Bitcoin six month downward channel, right? So this is another one of those channels like the one I just showed you. And what he's saying here is we are at the top and we're trying to break this point. I was looking at the Bitcoin charts myself a little bit. And what I found was $9,200 is where the 200 day moving average sits. So that's the price we just got rejected off of. And that's the price we'll need to rise above to keep this thing going. Now, if you find value in the content, go ahead and like this video. Also share it with anyone you know investing in Link as that would really help us to grow the channel. For those of you who are just new here, I'm very committed to doing what I do and really making this channel grow. 
and I'm committed to bringing you guys quality stuff. So again, subscribe if you haven't already. Enjoy the ride. Never invest more than you can afford to lose. And I'll see you in the next video.